Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys best and worst of my eyeshadow palettes, just all about my eyeshadow palettes. Believe it or not, I filmed this video once and it got deleted along with everything else in <sighs> that was supposed to go up. So I no longer have one of the palettes I need to talk about, but let's just go ahead and get right into this. So the first category is your newest palette. So my newest palette, a lot of things have changed since I last filmed this. So my newest palette is actually the BH Cosmetics Mimosa palette. And that's just what this looks like. And I love this palette. Like this literally is my newest palette as of right now. So literally just got this in last week. So yeah, this is my newest palette palette now as i'm pretty sure is the same for like anybody's collection the next one is your oldest palette and if this isn't your oldest palette like let me know what is your oldest palette that you have so for my oldest palette it is the Too faced chocolate bar palette this is something that i like to grab if i'm really in a hurry and i really love the shade right here salted caramel and creme brulee and also marzipan like these three are my faves and also milk chocolate right here those are my faves out of that palette but this is my oldest palette okay so the next category is your most expensive palette so what is my most expensive palette my most expensive palette i am not even the one who bought it so thank you sis and it is my tati beauty palette it retails for 48 bucks this is my most expensive palette it's also my palette that I'm the most careful with. So this is just what it looks like. If you haven't seen it, this is actually like my baby. Like this is the one that I rarely touch because I don't want to mess her up or I don't want the boys to mess her up and I don't want it to run out. And so, yeah, but I do love it. This is, this has really good quality. And it says your most affordable palette. So I have two of these actually. So my most affordable palettes are the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadows. And it's like a huge price difference. We go from $48 to $3. So this is my most affordable palette. And these are actually really good and really pigmented. I mean, you could pick all of these up. I believe there's like five of them. So for like $15 times so for like $15, you could get 20 eyeshadow palettes. And I think they keep coming out with more of these. I love these. This one is in the shade Rosewater. And the other one I have is in Carnival Candy. So the next category is your everyday palette. So what is your most like, most likely your everyday palette? Mine happens to be the ColourPop Nude Mood Palette. And I mean, can you get any more basic everyday than this? I think not. So that is just what this is. Obviously, you can tell that this is like my favorite thing to apply to the lid. And I really just stick with like these two colors. Maybe this one because it has a little bit of shimmer in it. But I really stick to Bluffin, Bear With Me, and All Natural, and Wink Wink. And I've used Moody to deepen it up sometimes. But this is my everyday palette. Okay. So obviously the next category is your most colorful palette. And we have another BH Cosmetics palette. So I have the BH Midnight Festivals Cos uh, Cosmetics, BH Midnight Festival palette, 20 color eyeshadow palette and pressed glitters. So I chose to do this one because it has a black, it has a white, it has lots of colors. And not only does it have color, but it has metallics and glitter so this is just like my wham bam thank you ma'am everything you need for a colorful look eyeshadow palette <laughs> so the next palette category is your smallest palette so my smallest eyeshadow palette yet again is my elf bite size eyeshadow palettes and this is really my small like these are my smallest ones so yeah, it just looks like this you guys already saw this is my little smallest palette compared to your biggest palette. This is my smallest and this is my biggest. My biggest is my Emily Edits palette, the Wants. And that is just what this looks like. It is huge and has a huge mirror. So this is my biggest palette. And believe it or not, I really like this eyeshadow palette. I haven't played with too many colors in here. 
but I have played with just about every single matte and I haven't paid, I haven't played with all the shimmers yet, but I have used just about every single matte in there and I love it. So the next category is a very sentimental category and it is which palette holds your best memory? I'm gonna try not to cry because last time I got real sad, like not sad, but like, just like, oh my gosh. So my palette that holds my best memory is my ABH Norvina palette. And this palette holds so much memories because I remember when I first started my YouTube channel back in 2017, like Brian and I couldn't hardly afford anything. The makeup I used on my videos was makeup, like I used to say makeup over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So finally about a year and a half into starting my channel, Brian took me to Ulta for our anniversary, or no, for my birthday. And he said, I want you to go pick out an eyeshadow palette from the, what is it called? From the prestige section in Ulta. And I was like, really? And he was like, yes. Yeah. So this is my best memory. Cause this is, let me know, like we were getting somewhere in like our walk with God and that just how much God was blessing with blessing us and how fast things could change. And this is the only heightened eyeshadow palette I have ever bought myself. Everything else has always been given to me. So this just shows me like, keep pushing. Like every time I see this, I'm like, keep pushing. Remember when you couldn't afford this. So just keep it, just keep on pushing, keep on pushing. And that's what this palette reminds me of is like, greater things are coming. When I look at this palette, that's what I think of. Like greater things are coming. Okay, so eyeshadow palette that is worth the hype. Now my worth the hype is not so much an eyeshadow palette, but a brand of eyeshadows and I think a Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I use my sister's bigger version of this. So I have the Nubian Mini, I think it's called, the Nubian Mini palette. These eyeshadows, you guys, the metallics, boom, the freaking mattes, blendable, like for the price, these are worth the hype, like really worth the hype. If you can't afford the bigger palette, try out one of these smaller ones and Juvia's Place online, like JuviusPlace.com always has a sale, you guys. So try these out if you haven't. A palette not worth the hype is the one that I got rid of and it was a, a Elf Opposite to Track palette, you guys. Those shadows blend away. They're not pigmented. The shimmers were crap. I don't know if I got a dud palette, but I hate it because everybody else always talks about them so good. And I'm just like, I hate this palette. Like, I got rid of it after like three times of trying to use it. Cause I was like, mm -mm, nope, I can't. Nope, not, <laughs> excuse me, not gonna fight with it. So. <laughs> Yeah, so the next thing is your favorite from your favorite brand. So my favorite brand of eyeshadows is actually ABH. And it's so funny because my favorite palette from ABH is the Modern Renaissance palette. And I love this palette because you can use it for so many different things and get so many different kinds of looks out of it with little pops of color. So that's why this is my favorite eyeshadow palette. Now it's my favorite brand because the way these eyeshadows blend, how pigmented they are, how smooth they are, how smooth they look on your lid. That is why this is my favorite palette from my favorite brand. Now my most used palette is also <laughs> my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. You guys, I use this on everybody. Anytime I'm going to go do, somebody hires me to do their makeup, I'm taking this palette. Why? Because it fits, all, like it suits all different kinds of skin tones. Like I just, I love this palette on like anybody. I've used this on uh, just, just deep skin tones, tan skin tones, medium skin tones, light skin tones. Like I like, like you name the skin tone and like I've probably used this eyeshadow palette on them. And not to mention on myself, you're able to get an everyday look or like a super glam look or a deep sultry look. That is just why this is my most used palette. So yeah, you guys, that is it on all about my eyeshadow palettes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And one more thing, let me know which one of your eyeshadow palettes holds your favorite memory 
and what that memory is. Let me know. So I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mmm.